Let's see what we, we got here. All right. Dear future husband, this is the last letter I will write to you before we get married. Never have I loved another, never any other, as I've loved you. Never have I loved another, never any other, as I've loved you. Catherine, I cannot believe we are finally about to get married. It makes me think about how surreal it is that we even met to begin with. Coming from the two opposite sides of the country and meeting in the middle in Nashville. I tried to picture what you would look like, sound like, and be like. I asked God to bring me someone loving, trustworthy, and true. I asked him for a safe place where I could be myself. Maxwell Connor Struniva. All I can say is, I am so happy it's you. I have been hurt before, and I don't trust easily, yet I trust you with all of my heart. Oh, Father, what a man you have made. I like to think it was our moral compasses with a little help from God, too, that guided us along our journeys to eventually meet each other. 2.5 years later, we are ready to start our new chapter together that will carry us through the rest of our lives. I could not be happier. You have showed me what it means to be loved fiercely with passion and devotion. The love you have for me mirrors the love of God that he has for us. I'm excited to finally see you in your dress. I know I will be blown away by how beautiful you look. I can't think I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I'm really happy for her. I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling a little hyper, but pretty good overall. Actually. You know what? It's the pre-wedding jitters. Yes. Kath is in a good place, I would say, because yes, she's like you. really excited, but she also seems like chill. She's like energetic and like peaceful at the same she time. She's really calm. Has become my home. It's I may be nervous while we are center stage today. You know my feelings on being in the limelight, but I'm not nervous at all about what our future holds together. I'm so certain that I found my other better half. I know we will live a life to together full of higher peaks and low valleys, and we will make the most of all of our experiences together. You are truly my favorite person in the world. I love your introverted, salty, roasting, witty personality and the time I spend with you is a treasure to me. Thank you for making me laugh and smile every day. There is no one I would rather go on this journey with. Thank you for giving me a million nicknames that only you and I truly understand. In our low points, I always found myself wanting to figure things out, draw closer to you, and love you more. I realized you became my safe place, and I knew you were the one I wanted to marry. Never any other as I've loved you. Never have I loved another, never any other as I've loved you. Never have I loved another, never any other as I've loved you. Thank you for choosing me. 
Thank you for caring for and protecting me. You have shown me deep, true love. I know we are not writing our own vows for the wedding, but I figured I would share a little bit of what I will be feeling when I see you. Catherine, I promise to always be by your side, to grow with you spiritually, emotionally, mentally, and physically every week. I promise to take care of you no matter the obstacle, to provide for you and our future family. I promise to make you smile and laugh, to bring joy to the little everyday moments. I promise to put God at the center of our marriage, to help us both grow closer to Him. With God at the center of our marriage, I feel so confident in us. Max, you are better than what I even dreamed of when I was 17. You are my gift from God. I am so happy it's you. I can't wait to marry you, and I'll see you at the altar. Love, Kat. Yeah. 